last week, I put out the invitation for all flat earthers to bring forward their very best evidence. Reasons why I should consider that maybe the earth could be flat. We've collected that evidence uh, and it's summarized in the original right up there. Um, so far, nothing truly convincing, but there are some pieces of evidence despite what some people expected to find. There are a few items that can be considered legitimately as potential evidence for flatness. While collecting that evidence, there were several comments though that uh, the burden of proof really should be on the globe side. So uh, it was unfair maybe to ask the flat side to, to present any evidence. We need to have the globe side present their evidence. And of course, I don't want the Globers to feel left out. So as I promised, here we are. In this video, I am asking for you to please present me your very best evidence why the Earth seems to be a globe. As I stated before, my intention is to be as objective as we can possibly be, and that means applying the exact same rules to the globe evidence as we asked for any flat evidence. And let's begin with just a repeat of what I said before. What does critical thinking mean? That's what really we're doing here is an exercise in critical thinking. We start with, we do not simply accept a claim. We must check it. Uh, we will not rely exclusively on intuition, right? Just because it feels round doesn't mean it is round. Um, we need evidence and that's what we're asking for now. We will use rational logic very carefully. We will not jump to any conclusions. We will not skip over steps. We will be careful. Uh, test it, test it, test it, and watch out for that bias. A confirmation bias is a killer. Okay, we will. We will look for alternative. As we're evaluating this evidence for roundness, we must look at any flat alternatives. As before, same rules apply, modified only slightly to apply in the reverse. So number one, there will be no personal attacks, no racism, of course, no name calling of any kind. Number two, no gish gallop, same rule as before. I want one piece of evidence. The goal is to acquire one piece of incontrovertible evidence, one piece of really solid, really strong evidence. I don't need 200 pieces. I need one piece. And so I want each submission to include your very best. Choose your best piece of evidence. I'm going to go through the evaluation criteria. And so using those criteria, try to choose what you think is the best evidence that isn't already on the list. Okay. Number three, positive evidence. So we are not looking for something that the flat earth model cannot explain. We are looking for positive evidence that the earth appears to be round. Okay. And number four, I want time codes. So if you give me like a video, same rules as before, give me a video, you point me to a website, you need to make sure that you tell me where the evidence is. And if not, I'll do the same thing as it before, which is I'm going to start at the beginning and you got five minutes. And if you haven't got to your point in five minutes, I'm just going to, I'm just going to give up on that one. When I do get evidence, here's how I'm going to evaluate the evidence is number one, I'm going to ask, is this claim even true? And can it be verified? Is there anything I can do to verify whether it's true or not? Number two, is the logic sound? We're going to go through step by step and look for logical gaps or logical errors in there. Number three, and this is the big one, what alternatives can we find? Do, do the flat earth proponents have an explanation for your evidence that works within their model? And then what, what can we do to follow up? How can we take this further to investigate in more detail, to really nail that thing down one way or the other. This is what I'm looking for. As before, I want a comment. I want you to see you down there in the comments, leave me a comment. And this is what I want you to include in that comment. Uh, a brief description of the evidence, please. 
and links to any video or website if that is relevant. Um, as before, I suggest you do one comment with the description, a second comment with the link, uh, just in case YouTube eats your links. Okay, follow those rules from the previous slide and show me your best. I'm gonna suggest your single best piece of evidence. And I've added this little note here at the top, which is to be fair, we were looking for evidence of flatness in the previous video. So now we are looking for evidence of roundness. Uh, there's a related discussion about um, whether or not it's rotating. It's closely related, but I don't think that's the same thing. I want evidence of roundness. Uh, another, uh, another topic is uh, space. Um, does space exist or not? Um, I don't think that uh, while it's very closely related, I don't think that's the same thing as proving that space exists does not prove the shape. Once you leave your comment, what am I going to do? I am going to go through and, and look for comments that seem to be um, suggestions of evidence. And I want these to be you know, a top line comment, not a response to somebody else because I might miss that. So, so give me a new comment, brand new comment thread. This is my evidence. Uh, I put the description. And then uh, uh, what I will do is I will go through, when I see those, I will add it to the pinned comment uh, along with my evaluation of your evidence. Um, and as before, I expect the community to assist me with the evaluations because I'm just one person and I could be biased. So if we get input from a wide variety of people, then maybe we can cover our bases better and, and sort of try to eliminate that bias a little bit. Okay, and maybe we'll have some update videos from time to time. And uh, ultimately, we're looking forward to maybe like a side by side comparison video. To kick things off, I'm going to start with my own piece of evidence. I'm going to offer a piece of evidence on my own, something that I have personally observed, and that is the sunrise. The sun rises and the sun sets. Um, the, uh, the moon also rises and sets, as do stars, stars and constellations of stars. So I am offering that phenomenon as the first piece of evidence for why we should think perhaps the Earth is a globe. Now, you might say, why is that globe evidence? Um, well, it, it, simply put, we see that these things move across the sky, like for example, let's say the sun, the sun goes across the sky and then it sets and it crosses below the horizon and we see it doing that. Now, at first, your first inclination, if you were you know, an ancient person who didn't know any better, is to think that the earth might be flat and the sun is just going past the edge of this flat horizon that you live on. Either it goes down into a tunnel and goes underneath you and pops out the other side, or maybe just the earth is like a disc or something and the sun goes around that disc. And, and that is what the ancient people thought. Um, none of the ancient people thought the modern flat earth theory of the, earth, the sun going around in a circle uh, because it's not what we see. We see the sun going around. We see the sun going around the earth in, in this sort of a pattern. Um, so yeah, at, at first we might have thought that the earth was, that the earth was flat and the sun just went around it. But then as soon as people started traveling, they discovered that, um, that it doesn't rise and set at the same time everywhere. Uh, you do a little comparison, phone your neighbors in, uh, <laughs> in Europe and Australia, and you'll find out that in fact, it rises and sets at different times, but it is still clearly going around. So how do we make that work? Well, clearly it appears as though the earth is round and the sun maybe is going around it, or perhaps the earth is round and rotating. Uh, you know, that neither here nor there for this discussion, we are talking about whether the earth is round. And so I, I think the mere action of a sunrise and sunset should be enough to uh to provide evidence for that okay um 